All right, this guy's okay. But uh, we have man down situation here. You two have been drinking too much today. I had a wine glass that was in the road here. I don't know, my dude, I don't know. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the start of another weekly vlog. It's Friday night and we were supposed to be doing a prank hiking event. And it's just me and Mike. And we're gonna try to do some spooky stuff. So, so many of the houses did these awesome displays in their front yard. I was like so into it. So this house, they were doing like all different movie themes. He had a lot of Stephen King. It was really awesome. We got to talk to the owner who was put that stuff out. And I, this was my favorite. I just loved this spider and the spider web. It was just so cool, like so inventive. And then this house had all these purple and green themes. I loved it. They had a spider web as well. So creative, I was so obsessed. Oh my goodness. And then we went to Ridgelon. Ridgelon is my favorite. I'm just like, oh, I'm in love with the cemetery. It's so cool. It's got two portions. One is like newer and the other part is old and spooky and I cannot recommend it enough. No, this looks really spooky. I'm, I have part of my headlamp. We're in my favorite cemetery of the right now, which is Ridgelon Cemetery. And it's extra spooky and our lights are dying. And this is how a horror movie starts. Okay, we made it. That was so much fun. It ended up being just me and Mike, which was fine. And we did a lot of hills. I cannot wait to look at the elevation once my Garmin sinks. Um, we did, I think, four cemeteries, five cemeteries. We found some new ones that I've never been to before. We went to Ridge Lawn, which is my like favorite cemetery of the moment. Um, Cause you gotta have a favorite cemetery of the moment, right? So it was really good. We were in the woods for a while. It was a little sus, sus, a little suspicious in the woods. Um, but it was fine, we didn't see any bears, I was kind of concerned about that, but it was really good. I'm gonna go home, husband is ordering us a pizza and we are gonna watch the new Halloween, have some wine. So it's good night. Good morning, spooky weather report. It's really spooky out. Oh my God, it feels so good and spooky. Um, let's see if you can see a little bit more over there. Ooh, it's the wind's coming in. I think it's gonna rain. Uh, I hope it doesn't rain tonight because Danielle and I are supposed to go to this event. Um, but yeah, it feels real good in October out here. Hi, everybody. It's Saturday night, and Danielle and I are here with the dogs in Vandergrift for the witching hours night market that my friend Shannon has put together. I'm very excited. We're running late because there was a big accident on the parkway. So I think we missed the witch's dance, which I'm kind of upset about, but we should see some cute vendors.
<laughs> That's my favorite costume. I love it. Goodness, we need one of these, Layla Grace. Which ghost do you want to adopt? These ones glow in the dark. <gasps> they glow in the dark. Oh boy, what else do we need? A little pumpkin? Okay, update. He has a snack. I've bought like way too many things. And now we are going to have our reading done by a pet, or she's a medium um, who also does pet and animal readings. So. Sunday morning, I'm running late. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Um, I'm headed down to the north side to meet my girlfriends. We are going for a run this morning. Um, it is Monster Pumpkin Weekend. Obviously I'm working so I can't attend the actual Monster Pumpkin Festival. Um, you've seen this, we went the last two years at least. To So they carve these gigantic, really cool pumpkins. And there's a whole like festival and the, there's food and games for kids and stuff. Um, it gets very crowded. So what we've done the last three years now, I think that this started in 2019, um, is we go in the morning on our run and you can see the pumpkins, like the stuff is not like all the you know, festival part of it, but you can see all the pumpkins they have them on display, like just out on the road. So that's what we are headed to right now. Of course I'm running late because <laughs> um, the night market last night was so much fun. We had a really good time. I bought so many cool things. I'll show you those later. Um, just like, I mean, every shop was so cool. And they're all like local, like not like local, local. Like Vandergrift is far from our house. So first of all, there was an accident on the parkway. So what should have taken us about like 35 minutes took us about an hour, which sucked. And we got there like, so we got there about half an hour. Well. Danielle was running late because there was uh, some kind of traffic in the tunnel. So she was late getting to my house. So we were late leaving my house. And then when we left my house, we were stuck in traffic on the parkway. So it's like, basically I was hoping we would get there around like seven-ish and we didn't get there until eight. So it was dark already by the time we got there, which kind of sucked because it was a little hard to see some of the booths. Uh, most of them had lights, but not everywhere. Um, some of them were a little bit harder to see. So. But it was still really nice and I got so many candles. Oh my god, these candles. Every single one smells amazing. Um, we went to see Shannon, which was nice, and her husband Tim was there, and we went to see both of them. And we got really like the food was really good. It was a long ass wait for food because they were so busy. But the um it's, I got an Italian like Italian hoagie sandwich. It wasn't like a I guess the Italian hoagies that we get here are usually not grilled, and this was grilled and it was so good. It was really so it was worth the wait. But um, yeah, and then we did go and see and talk to, we had readings with the medium. Um, I was kind of hoping that I would get to talk about Lucy and maybe she could see Lucy, but like immediately when I sat down, she's like, okay, are you like, do you have anything specific? And I was like, well, I don't know. And she's like, you know, are you kind of just open to what happens? And I was like, yeah, that's probably the best way to be. Um, and, like immediately she was like, okay, I'm getting like a male father energy. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> and um she was like but i don't think it's actually your dad um and i was like oh and the more we talked about it she thinks it was my um good friend bob who passed away um about a year before my dad he passed away in, in the summer of 2020 unexpectedly 
Um, but she, then she also thought, and she was like, and I think he's with your dad. And like, I don't know. It was nice. Um, it was like a good vibes. Um, like it was all positive stuff. Like, I don't know. Uh, Danielle did get to, um, t- talk to Booty and, um, Booty and Rogue and, so that was nice. So it was pretty neat. I've never had a reading like that. I've had my tarot cards read a number of times, um, but I've never had a, a reading with a medium before. So uh, it's a little stressful for me because I didn't know like what I was supposed to do or not supposed to do. And normally she does like a 30 to 60 minute session. But since it was like at the festival here, it was like discounted price and it was a shorter session. It was um, 20 minutes. And so I was like, oh gosh, we have to like get everything in. And that's what like, it feels like kind of rushed to like be like, hey, call up your family, get over here, come all the way down from the other side and talk to us. So, but, uh, but it was neat. It was a neat experience. I've never done that before. Um, but yeah, and then it, by that point, it was like so cold. And so it was still going for another, like we left around 11, I think, or over, yeah, just before 11, we left. And it was still going for another hour, went to midnight. And it was like still, there were tons of people out. It was really cool. A lot of the vendors stayed open late. The vendors were supposed to be done by nine and a lot of them stayed open. They were still open they left, um, which was really cool. And I, I was just, I, I thought Shannon did like such an amazing job putting it together to get all of that working like that and to go so smoothly. Like I keep, for her first like huge festival like that, I can't even imagine how, she, like, how that happened. But to be happy because she's awesome and she's good at that shit. Um, but it was so fun. It was so fun. I'm really glad we went. And next year, I hope that we can, um, Maybe it'll be on my weekend off and we can get out there earlier and see stuff during the day. Because they also had like the fire dancers were there. They had, um, so they, Shannon organized like a dance group. Um, so we, I got to see a little bit of their dance. I got to see like half of their dance before I had my reading. But I'd like to see more of that stuff. So it was, it was nice. So anyway, that's the update. Um, I'm really glad we went. I will show you the stuff that I got there. Mostly it's candles, but I did get like a little dragon figure for my altar. Um, most of what I got and the dogs had the best time because literally everybody who was there was like obsessed with our dogs just like oh my god Layla Grace is so small how did she get so small oh my goodness she's a baby is she a baby oh my goodness when will she be full grown I was like she is seven years old and she is beyond full grown so but it was really fun so that's the update I'm headed down to the north side right now and I will show you the pumpkins when we get to the pumpkins So we have Mr. Rogers dressed as Fred Flintstone. And over here we have Andy Warhol dressed as Barney Rubble. I love it. I'm so here for this Pittsburgh dinosaur theme. Let me see. Let me see. Hello. Hi. Have you been sleeping? Did you get yourself on the couch like a good girl? Like a grown up? Yeah. Hi. 